YouTube, welcome back to another video from your boy Leo J. Y'all know the channel is about music, mainly about music. I do reaction to other stuff, but y'all know it's about music. Today we're gonna look at Eminem teaches how to freestyle rap in five steps. I'm curious. I want to know. I want to know what's going on. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Real quick. Did they tumble out of your head complicated? Cause you write complicated rhymes. Oh, I wake up in the morning and they just tumble. They just fall out. Yeah. Do they come complicated or do you complicate them? Um. Sometimes, what I love about rap is that it feels like it's puzzles to me. Like words are like puzzles, and trying to figure out a puzzle, and trying to figure out what word can go here, and how many. Yeah, if you are an artist, if you are an artist, any type of artist, and you write music, if you have never gotten up 3 a.m., 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. in the morning and just start writing, then I don't know, bro. I've done that. I used to take music way serious than I do now. Now I'm on more of the listening side and the commenting, rating, stuff like that. But I used to do music as in write, record, all of that. I used to get up them, them always, so I understand what he's saying right here. How many words can I make? Like, if I can take a rhyme, like, I'm real into the craft, like, just the, you know, MCing, and I feel like, like, I always think, like, how can I take a, how can I figure this puzzle out? Like, how can I take words and, and put them at the end of the sentence, but in between, maybe make some words rhyme in between that, that rhyme and, like, sandwich them. So sandwich those words and try to make them rhyme inside of the phrase and then come back outside and try to, you know, try to rhyme with the word that I ended on the snare in this clip from I yeah man a lot of y'all rappers need to take note bro y'all need to take note bro Ice T's art of rap before I go any further I want y'all to drop in the comment who y'all think is the best rapper currently right now or overall the best rapper of the rap industry I want y'all to drop that in the comment section let me know what y'all think rap documentary the lauded slim shady hits upon one of the key factors that has helped to mold both his revered freestyle game and penmanship and that is the willingness to refine your rhymes although eminem has pulled off obscene feats in an off-the-cuff fashion such as sculpting the dizzying rap god off the dome in around six minutes m's adeptness at contorting words at will may be a pleasure to behold but it's not a god-given talent instead it is something that has been honed over time with Shady's brains serving as a tireless assembly line of entendres, metaphors, and intricate multisyllabic experiments. Where others take the path of least resistance, Shady looks at his rhymes from a bird's eye view, meaning that when it's time to step up to the plate and prove his skills, he's already done the legwork and created a mental environment that's conducive to turning out an exemplary 16 before he gets to the mic. Plus, as he's made clear, having a wider range of lyrical tricks means that you can retool any word to your will with the right manipulation of syllables. It's just in the enunciation of it. Like people say that the word orange doesn't rhyme with anything and that kind of pisses me off because I can think of a lot of things that rhyme with orange. What rhymes with orange? If you're taking the word at face value and you just say orange, nothing is going to rhyme with it exactly. If you enunciate it like more than one syllable, orange, you could say like, I put my orange, four inch, door hinge in storage. Yo, I'm telling you bro, you gotta think. You gotta think, a lot of y'all rappers, as I said, y'all need to take notes. Bro, y'all wanna end up on this channel, y'all want me to check out y'all music, bro. Y'all gotta take notes. And ate porridge with jewelry. You just have to figure out the science to breaking down words and try to. And you Where some see limitations, M is always seeking to expand his repertoire of tips and tricks, and that blends neatly into the element of Marshall's approach that separated him from the pack from his days in the Rap Olympics all the way through to his current status as one of the greats, and that is the desire to expand his vocabulary. I heard that you used to read the dictionary. I just felt like I want to be able to have all these words at my disposal in my vocabulary at all times whenever I need to pull them out you know somewhere they'll be stored 
locked away. During his days on the underground circuit, Eminem commanded a fearsome reputation, leaving his fellow MCs overmatched and outgunned. Everybody knew that Eminem was the king of all that shit, reflected his D12 running mate Bazaar. He was undefeated. He was like Floyd Mayweather in a rap battle. Instead of being a matter of luck, M's prowess in freestyling came down to the fact that he approached hip-hop with a scholarly eye, pursuing new words in the same manner that an honor roll student studies for his exams. Now, if you yourself would like to become a scholar of the skill of freestyling like Shady himself and master the art of freestyle rap in two weeks or less, consider picking up our university-level class, The Freestyle Fortnite, for daily freestyle drills, step-by-step -step trainings, and rap vocabulary lessons by clicking the first link in the video description. Now, Eminem is a man who currently holds the record for largest vocabulary of any recorded artist, with 8,818 unique words being used in his music. According to a study conducted by Music's Match in June of 2015, a new word interval of 11, meaning that on average, each 11th word used across Eminem's works is a word he has never previously used in one of his lyrics. I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Holy crap. Holy crap. So from the outset, Eminem wanted to have the ammunition to overwhelm any foe or beat alike. And in addition to expanding his vernacular, M also sought to learn from the greats, and that is one of the other key tenets of why his freestyle game is so impeccable. I studied everybody, man. I studied you, I studied KRS, I studied Tretch, Naughty by Nature. Tretch is difficult to rap like, cause his shit is really complicated. I can click, clack, pat, tat, wait, what was he saying? <laughs> I can click, clack, snap, rap, pat, tat, a tat, tat. Take that to the point you have to ask for your ass back. The fucking joker smoker, taunted by no one. If I was born in Shungley's Temple, I would have turned out a shogun. That song, <laughs> Yoke the Joker, when right. that shit came out, I swear to God, I was in my peak at rap. And what I mean is, right. like, when I realized this is what I want to do with right. my life, and proof came over, he brought the tape, and my world ended. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, what the f is this? A tale which highlights the illuminate. <laughs> yeah, um, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I no comment. No impact comment. that the creatively fertile environment of 90s hip hop had on him. Shady's capacity to spit Naughty by Nature's Yoke the Smoker off the top with perfect cadence at the drop of a hat after all this time shows the depths to which M immersed himself in the work of others in order to advance his own proficiency. Although it should be a given, M's rise is a testament to the fact that a solid grounding in the culture of MCing enables you to find your own lane with greater ease and beyond that, you won't just bolster your abilities, but ensure that you aren't inadvertently biting from another MC's playbook. Here, we have the next key step of M's process when it comes to freestyling that sets him apart, and that is the fact that whenever possible, he aims to never be anything less than original. It is with an urgency and you're rushed to- Good point. Good point right there. You gotta be original, bro. Like, you cannot be using rhymes and lines you've heard from other people like when i used to do songs when i used to write when i used to do music you cannot go in any of my songs any of them and hear a line that you've heard from somebody else if i even come up with something that sounds similar i'm like nah this line remind me of that song so you know what i'ma change it it gotta be original bro gotta be original. emergency surgery you cannot be burned in third degree no no at all and if you're gonna murder me it cannot be like you never heard of me you cannot be a mobster and eat lobster at all if you are a mobster eat stay up away from, from lobster, lobster. Yeah, if you're gonna freestyle it cannot be till you're senile so you can freestyle that's fine but do not do it until you're senile and just before you're about to push to the point of sen yeah. senality yes you, you cannot die hard in this tongue-in-cheek video with the alchemist royce and mr porter m outlines some of the overused lyrical tropes in hip-hop that have been enlisted to the point of being past their sell by date although they're clearly having fun with it m's decision to outlaw various regular 
regularly trotted out phrases does touch upon an important point to consider wherever possible, and that is you should strive to subvert the norm and put your own spin on pre-existing metaphors and imagery. If the rhyme doesn't impress or inspire you, there's a good chance that it won't inspire awe in anyone else either. Besides, even the goats aren't necessarily purists when it comes to freestyling. During a recent interview with King Crooked, M cited the late great Juice World, whom he would famously be a notable influence on and went on to work with on Godzilla as a shining example of how to keep the integrity of the art of freestyling. Wait, is he saying Juice World was also on Godzilla? I didn't know that. I don't know that. I heard the song. I haven't heard it in a while, but I didn't know, really know anything much about Juice World. But uh, yeah, huh? I'm gonna have to check that out. While peppering in some premeditated thoughts in order to both enhance your skill and dazzle any audience. That's the shit that we used to try to do at the hip hop shop was like try to work on our freestyles, right? But be able to slip in and out of written when you need to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If right. you got a certain punchline you want to get to take out this dude, right? So. It Hey, I want you to imagine how it would feel if you got some new beats from me right now, you recorded an it To be so young, he like mastered that so fucking quickly. Yeah. It's really sad, man, that like his potential was so off the charts or as we'll more succinctly call it, the mixed methods approach, where you'd be forgiven for assuming that M would see spitting anything written in a freestyle as an act of treason. Shady has been happy to admit that not everything he said during his famous freestyles was rendered on the spot. By using this mixed methods approach, you can accentuate your ad hoc rhymes with a few bars that'll exemplify what you're really capable of when given time to prepare. And with that, your confidence will only grow more and more. Later in his discussion, with Ice, we see Eminem hit upon one of the most fundamental lessons that he's learned on his road to mastering the art of freestyling, and that is determination. Growing up in one of the most deprived areas of Detroit and with the added pressures of a deeply dysfunctional household, the odds of a young- He grew up in Detroit? Man, I don't- I, I, I thought I knew a lot about Eminem, but I guess I didn't know shit. Damn, I didn't know he grew up in Detroit. Marshall Mathers becoming anything of note, let alone becoming one of the most popular artists of all time to walk the earth, were slim to none. The first time I grabbed a mic, like in front of actual people that mattered, the club, I got booed. I remember that. It was very traumatic for me. And I had actually, I think I had at that point, like the eight mile thing was kind of it's taken not. from or whatever. So I just remember that being so fucking traumatic. And I think I went home like, man, I quit. And then, you know, maybe a couple days later, a week later, hour later, was, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I got the urge to like, nah, man, I gotta get up, gotta do it again. Unsurprisingly, his initial attempts to prove his lyrical prowess in the freestyle arena were met with opposition from audiences who saw him as an outsider. In essence, Eminem experienced the same harsh critique in real time that many budding rappers subject themselves to when they post their latest bars online. Possessing a natural aptitude for the art form but none of the encouragement that he needed to step into a cipher and feel empowered, it took a long time for M to gain the renown that he thought he earned in the world of battle rap, never mind eventually garnering the attention of Dr. Dre and setting himself up on the path to stardom. Intent on treating hip hop as not just an art form but an all encompassing lifestyle that takes up the lion's share of his time and headspace, this meant that even when M was at his lowest point in life, he refused to relinquish his first love. In Bruh, let me tell y'all something real quick. Slim Shady. I've been a fan of, of Eminem since Slim Shady. And y'all know that I didn't even know that he changed his name to Eminem until way after when I was like, I haven't heard a Slim Shady song in a long time. And I looked it up and I realized that his name is now Eminem. I've been a Slim Shady. I've been a fan since Slim Shady, bruh. In fact, M's determination was so pronounced that, that even after a near fatal overdose in 2007 and he had to retrain himself to do the very thing that had already made him a fortune, there was no other option but to push through. I actually had to learn how to say my lyrics again, how to phrase them, make them flow, how to use force so they sounded like I meant them. 
M told MTV, Rapping wasn't like riding a bike. It was as much physical as mental. I was relearning basic motor skills. I couldn't control my handshakes. Get in the recording booth and tried to rap, and none of it was clever, none of it was witty, and I wasn't saying it right. 15 years on from the fateful day that almost claimed his life, M continues to be a perennial favorite in the hearts of his fans, and every verse merits analysis. Every time you think that he spit his last multifaceted bars filled with witty asides and masterful wordplay, he proves that even at 50 years old, his acidic tongue is still as sharp as it ever was. By following his studious approach, Eminem is 50 years old? My guy don't look 50 at all, bruh. Damn. Shit. His acidic tongue is still as sharp as it ever was. By following his studious approach to the game and refusing to yield for anyone or anything, the current crop of aspiring artists who pride themselves on their lyrical dexterity can learn how to freestyle rap with the best of them. So if you're an artist yourself watching this, be sure to visit the first link in the video description. But with that said, I appreciate your time. It's the big homie Drew for How to Rap. I'm out. All y'all rappers, bro. Y'all see y'all rappers and stuff, man. Make sure y'all take notes, bro. Take notes. Go check out the video if 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 y'all don't want to see the reaction, which is I totally understand. But go check out how some of these artists rap, bro. Do y'all studies. Do y'all research, man. Come with bars. Come with unique bars, bro. Take that, those five steps to become a better a better rapper, bro. I might do Drake. Drake is right here. Y'all can see it. How Drake write. I might do Drake. Um, run this up to... I'm going I'm to I'm say 100 likes. Run this up to 100 likes. And I'll do Drake. Thanks for y'all's suggestion, man. Keep, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep dropping them suggestions. Anyways, bro. On to next time, man. Peace. Never slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up